Today I'm going to talk about this battery voltage display. It is used for solar battery backup system, solar power wall, electric vehicle battery or just batteries in general. And I'm using it for my e-bike battery as you can see over here. So I've got my e-bike battery over there and it does not have a BMS or a battery management system. So I need to have a way to monitor the voltage of the battery. Uh, to prevent it from being over discharged. I don't have to worry about my battery being overcharged because that will be the job of my balance charger. I only worry about it being over discharged and that is where this comes in. So here is the specs of this voltage monitor. It has to be powered by a DC power source voltage from 4 to 30 volts DC. It can display battery voltage and the range it's from 0 to 100 volt DC. And what that means is that if you have a battery that uh, you need to monitor and its voltage is less than 30 volts, like this one I have here, then you do not need an external power source to run the unit. It will use its own power source from the battery and display the battery voltage at the same time. So over here we've got three wires, yellow, red and black. Black wire is common ground for both the monitoring battery and the power source. The red wire will go to the power source and the yellow wire will go to the battery you want to monitor. So let's say that in this case I have this battery here I want to monitor and it's less than 30 volts. So the red and the black will power the unit. Right? You can see it's on right now. Okay, now if I want to monitor the same battery, I'm going to use a yellow wire and it's going to be on the same wire with the red wire. So in this case, I'm just going to put it on here. You see that it's 3.9 volts. If the battery you want to monitor is more than 30 volts DC, in this case, this is my 48 volt e-bike battery. I cannot use this to power the unit. So I need to have an external power source to power the unit. And in this case, I'm going to use the same 18650 cell to power the unit. And it's on right now. And I'm going to connect the yellow wire to my e-bike battery. And then the black wire, same common ground, is going to go to the uh, ground of my battery. So let's connect it right now. My e-bike battery, positive terminal here, negative terminal here. So the positive terminal, the yellow wire, is going to go to the yellow wire of the meter. And the ground, I already connected, uh, is going to go to the same ground as the uh, power source. And it is 52 volts. So let's measure the actual voltage of my battery using my meter here. 53.9 volts. So it's not very accurate, is it? That's bad news. But the good news is you can adjust the voltage. So on the back of the unit, you see there's a round knob with a plus sign here. And I'm going to use my precision screwdriver or something really small. And I can turn this knob either clockwise. Let's see if we can turn here. Yeah. Or counterclockwise. Like that. So when you turn it counterclockwise, it will increase the voltage. And when you turn it clockwise, it will reduce the voltage. So let's go ahead and adjust this. So right now it's 52 volts, right? We need to increase it to 54. So I'm going to turn this counterclockwise. You see there? It's increasing as I turn. So we need about 54 volts. 53.9, 54 volts. A little bit more. 54. A little bit too much, so let's back. Go back a little bit. 
there 53 9 54 volts that is perfect another question is is it gonna remember this same voltage if I turn it off right so say if I have a switch and I turn it off next time when I want to monitor my battery and turn it back on right is it the same voltage or do we have to reset this every time it'll be a pain in the butt if I have to reset it every time I turn it on so let's disconnect completely okay and now let's try and turn it on hopefully it will still remember the same voltage I hate to reset this every time I turn it on right that would be very impractical so let's connect around now moment of truth Ta da 54 volts that is perfect actually I'm gonna try and be a perfectionist here I'm gonna turn it down to 53 8 now both of them are 53.9 so that's absolutely perfect and that's all for now i will see you next time but look it's 54 now now i'm gonna go back here and adjust this <laughs>